Thank you very much, Carol. 618 on your Monday morning. And there was a time when we could only dream about robots doing chores around the house or helping police fight crime. Well, now at the top hospitals in the world, robots are in the operating room helping surgeons perform minimally invasive procedures. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we'll talk about the advances in robotic surgery with Dr. Stephen Nishida, general surgeon and chair of the robotics committee at the Queens Medical Center. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Ross. I'm fascinated with surgical robots. What type of procedures can they actually perform? Well, we've had robots at Queens since 2007. In fact, we hit a milestone this year. We've done 10,000 cases, robotic surgeries at Queens Medical Center wow, since we started the program. Yeah, so this, the robot can be used for a variety of specialties. In urology, they use the robot to take out prostate cancer. In fact, 8% of cancers of the prostate in the United States are taken out now with a robot. It can be taken, used to take out tumors of the kidney. GYN surgeons will use it to take out tumors of the uterus and ovaries. Thoracic surgeons or chest surgeons will use it to take out tumors of the lung and mediastinum, which is the center of the chest. Um, general surgeons, like myself, will use it to reconstruct the abdominal wall for hernias. We take out tumors of the belly as well, gastric cancer and colon cancer. And our ENT surgeons, our ear, nose, and throat surgeons, will use the robot to take out tumors of the base of the tongue. Wow, unbelievable. Now, I understand that Queens recently got a state-of-the-art robotic system that does operations with just one small incision. How yes. does it work? Can you tell us about that? So we just got a new robot. It's uh -huh. the latest generation of DaVinci robots by Intuitive. It's called the DaVinci SP. SP stands for single uh, port uh, robot. Mm -hmm. We are the 19th hospital in the country to receive this new equipment. It has uh, four instruments, a camera and three arms, all controlled by the surgeons. They're deployed through a one-inch trocar. It can be used to go through an incision through the belly, or we can use a natural orifice like the mouth or the anus. It can remove tumors at the base of the tongue. It can be used to take out tumors of the rectum as high as uh, 25 centimeters or 10 inches up into the rectum. And it has a steady hand, right, because it's a robot, so it doesn't shake as much. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so how do these systems help doctors, and how do they help the patient? Well, it does help in terms of the visualization. The robot gives us a magnified 3D view of what's going inside the belly, and uh, it's a very stable platform. The, it has something called fluorescence imaging, which is a near-infrared laser that li lets us make structures glow by injecting dyes into the body. Uh, it makes our motions more precise. It filters our motions, so uh, it helps filter out tremors, so I can drink an extra cup of coffee in the morning, not worry <laughs> about any tremors. It, um, also, it scales our movement. So when I make a big movement outside, the ro robot makes a tiny movement inside the body. So let's just be more precise. Potentially lets us do a better job of taking out the tumors and harvesting lymph nodes. Um, it also uh, lets the patients recover faster. There's less pain and a quicker recovery for the patients. All right, to learn more about the Queens Medical Center's surgical services using the most advanced technologies, you can call the Queens referral line at 691-7117 or visit queens.org. Dr. Stephen Nishida, thank you very much. Thank very you very much. Fascinating subject, and congratulations thank on you. 2007, since 2007.